Hey everybody, this is TJR. The song remains the same. The album soundtrack from Led Zeppelin is getting a 50th anniversary release treatment. Interestingly enough, this album was never included in the recent 2014 remasters of all the studio albums. Now, this re-release, remaster, is being released in a number of configurations. I'm going to go through those first and what they contain, and I'm going to mention their price points on Amazon as of this recording. These prices, of course, can change, as you know. So, first up is the two-CD set, which will contain remastered audio on two CDs, plus a 24-page booklet, and it's currently on Amazon at $21.98. Up next is a 4LP set, once again remastered audio on four 180 gram vinyl LPs plus a 28 page booklet. This one is priced at, hold on to your hats, $149.98. Big difference between the CD and the LP version. I should also mention that on the 4LP set, there's going to be a change to the track program, allowing the 29-minute version of Dazed and Confused to be featured on one vinyl side for the first time. The full album will also have its debut release in high-res 5.1 surround sound audio on Blu-ray. This is currently listing for $34.98 on Amazon, and I should also mention is being sold separately. Now, this Blu-ray will also include video performances of four songs not in the original film. Those include Celebration Day, Over the Hills and Far Away, Misty Mountain Hop, and The Ocean, all with 5.1 audio. This leaves us with the big kahuna. We're talking the super deluxe 2 CD, 4 LP, and 3 DVD set. This, of course, combines the Remastered audio on two CDs and four 180-gram vinyl LPs from the other two configurations I mentioned, plus a two-DVD set of The Song Remains the Same, featuring the full theatrical version of the film, plus bonus content, including the four performance outtakes that were not part of the original film that I mentioned earlier. The third DVD is the entire album in Dolby Digital 5.1 surround and PCM stereo, uh, and also will include apparently a photo gallery. You will also get a high def download card of all stereo audio content. And of course, a 26 page book featuring band photos and stills from the film and an essay by Cameron Crowe. This set will also include a replica of the Japanese program from 1977, previously available only when the film first toured cinemas in that country. Also, a high-quality print of the original album cover, the first 30,000 of which will be individually numbered. And the price for this set? $249.98, currently on Amazon. But once again, these prices can change between the time they are available for pre-order and the time they're actually released. So the first thing that comes to mind that I want to talk about is the fact that the Blu-ray audio is not included in this set. Considering the price of this set, I think that it should be. And quite frankly, I feel a little bit of an eye roll coming on over that. When the Beatles released their Super Deluxe set of Sgt. Pepper, they included both DVD and Blu-ray of the same content so that you could have your choice. On the other hand, though, I know a lot of fans wanted to know if they could purchase that Blu-ray separately, and they couldn't. Led Zeppelin is making this Blu-ray available separately, but only separately. I should also add that the Beatles Sgt. Pepper Deluxe set did not include the vinyl that was sold separately. With the Led Zeppelin Deluxe set of the song remains the same, the vinyl is included. Of course, they're charging a lot more for it too. I'm glad to see that a high quality download of the album soundtrack will be made available for those who purchase the Super Deluxe set. But I also hope that that same high quality download will be made available for those who purchase the four vinyl set as well. It should be, but there's no word that I can find so far to confirm that. I should also add that so far there has been no word about whether or not the actual motion picture will be released separately on DVD or on Blu-ray. Perhaps we'll find out more about that later. Maybe they're saving that. Jimmy Page has said that there's going to be a number of surprises for Led Zeppelin's 50th anniversary. Perhaps that will be one of them. The remastered audio will also be made available on streaming services like Spotify, 
Tidal, and Apple Music. As for myself, well, I'll be honest. This album was never really a favorite of mine. In fact, when the film came out and the soundtrack was released, the critical reception was not that great. And later on, even the band members themselves would express disappointment over it. Personally, I thought that the 2003 live DVD entitled Simply Led Zeppelin was a whole lot more enjoyable and a much better representation of the band. Now, in 2007, this album did get a remixing and a remastering, and it clearly needed it. The audio was much improved, and the addition of some new tracks, I think, also helped raise the energy level of it. And I think that was one of the things. The, the original soundtrack version just came off as very lumbering. As a matter of fact, the only version of this album I own is the one from the Japanese box set, which features all the original albums released in, you know, mini vinyl packaging. And that's only because it came with a set. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bothered with it. Otherwise, I don't think I've maybe played this more than once, to be honest. I should add, this uh, version only contains the original track listing. It doesn't contain any of the additional tracks that were added to the 2007 version. Perhaps it might be worth it to make a comparison between the two versions someday and do kind of a critical review, because I do admit the 2007 version is better. I think what I'm going to do is wait for it to be released, then listen to the remastered audio on streaming. If I'm really impressed, maybe I'll spring for the two CD set. Of course, then again, I might just wait and see if they don't release the actual motion picture on Blu-ray with high-definition audio, and just get it that way. So what do you think? Are you excited for this 50th anniversary re-release? Is there a particular edition you're going to go for? Please leave a comment and share your thoughts on this album. Where, how does it rank with you as far as other Zeppelin albums? This is TJR, and if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to click subscribe, click like, and be sure to click notifications so you can know when I release new videos. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye-bye.